talk about 8.2 number 3, which says f of x equals 2. What are they asking me to do on these? Find this slope, right? You guys all see that? OK, so when they say the words find the slope, what do you think to yourself when you see that word slope? M? Yeah. You, know, you could kind of think to yourself M, right? And what are you thinking of when you think of that M? Yeah, y is mx plus b, right? So you're thinking f of x is mx plus b. It's kind of the form that m goes in, right? OK, so uh, when you see f of x is 2, you might think to yourself, ah, 2 has to be the slope, right? What's the problem? Yeah, 2 is the b, right? You guys see that? The m has to be attached to an x. So how many x's are there here? You guys see that? There aren't any x's. So really, instead of writing this, it would be maybe more honest to write f of x is 0x plus 2. And then I can just mash straight across the form, right? So from my form. M is the thing attached to the X, and B is the thing that doesn't have an X. Cool. So I'd say slope is zero, and the Y intercept is two. What does it mean for the slope to be zero? This is actually an important thing. Yeah, it's horizontal. Because that doesn't seem interesting, right? No. At all. Like, it's a horizontal line at 2. So 1, 2, and then my line looks like this, right? You guys want to know why this is interesting? OK. From a maybe just, here's a random function, right? What kind of function is this, roughly? Something cubed, cubic. Yeah, this is some kind of cubic, right? So I could think about this as f of x is more or less x cubed, right? Really, it's got some other terms there. This is a really poor approximation, right? But it's some kind of cubic. And I might think to myself, oh, where is this thing kind of peaking and valleying, right? You guys see that question? So if I ask, where are the peaks and valleys on this function's graph? They're right here and right here, right? See that? That's really kind of where the function is locally a flat spot. You guys see that? This is actually what we spend a lot of time in calculus class doing. We have a way to make, take a function and make kind of local information about whether it's flat or not. That'll tell us about peaks and valleys. Cool? So if there's a function of f of x equals 2x, would that, be, that want to be a function? Because it would be... It's a function. So this is maybe a different function, right? f of x is 2x, right? If I was being totally honest and trying to write in the form mx plus b, what would I write here? Yeah, I'd write 2x plus 0. And then the slope would be 2 over 1, right? And the intercept would be 0. So this is going to go through 0, 0. And then it's going to go 2 up, 1 over, or 1 over, 2 up, right? So I'm looking at some kind of line like this. This isn't quite what you were thinking. No. Yeah, do you guys know the equation for vertical lines? This is really a horizontal line, right? Really, I might kind of look at this one, and I might think, in the older speak, this would be y is 2, right? Yeah, 2 is x, right? x is 2. That's a vertical line. <coughs> 
that is this one. And yeah, that's exactly not a function, right? That definitely fails the vertical line test because it is a vertical line, right? So most vertical lines are fine, but that same vertical line hits it everywhere, which is a lot more than. What am I looking for on the vertical line test? That was the question. I'm looking for hits more than. Yeah, more than two or more times, so more than once. <coughs> Infinity is a lot more than once, right? You guys cool that? So, when in doubt on lines, like you're trying to figure out the slope or the intercept or whatever, put it in this form, and then the stuff on the x is the slope, and the stuff that's left over is the b. Cool?